Here's an example video for the topic applying the quadratic formula in decimal answers. For this video, we will look at the example 2x squared minus 3x minus 7 equals 0. So we'll have to use the quadratic formula, which is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Our first step will be to plug in the numbers. We have x equals negative negative 3, because negative 3 is b, plus or minus the square root of, again, negative 3 squared minus 4 times 2, which is a, times negative 7, which is c, all over 2 times 2, which is a. We will now do some quick simplification. x equals yeah. negative negative 3 is just 3, plus or minus negative 3 squared is 9, minus 4 times 2 is 8, times negative 7 is negative 56. So 9 minus negative 56, all over 2 times 2, which is 4. 9 minus negative 56 equals positive 65. So we have x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 65 all over 4. Therefore, our answers are x equals 3 plus square root of 65 over 4 and 3 minus square root of 65 all over 4. We need to convert these answers into decimal answers, so we will use the Alex graphing calculator to convert these into decimals. Our first answer is 3 plus square root of 65 over 4. So we will type that in the calculator like this. Parentheses, 3 plus square root button, 65, and then move our cursor out of the square root button, parentheses, divided by 4, which equals rounded to the nearest hundredth for this case, 2.77. And doing the same thing for 3 minus square root of 65 over 4, we'll get negative 1.27. So that's how we use a calculator to get our decimal answers for a quadratic equation.